Hello everyone, welcome to this session about how to make Joomla 4 easier for your customers. My name is Peter Martin, I'm from the Netherlands and uh, you can find my company at dba.nl and my slides will be published uh, on uh, petermartin.nl So, uh, in this presentation, I will show you how to make Joomla easier for your customers, and I will use door four different parts in Joomla. Uh, I will do a live demo, so everything that I show you on the sheets, I will also do live, and it can go wrong, but then it's a, then it's a real demo. If you have questions, just during the presentation or during uh, the demo, just ask. So, one of my favorite books about usability, it's uh, an older book, it's called uh, Don't Make Me Think from Steve Crook. Who has this book or who read it? Yay. So uh, my favorite chapter in this book is called Omit Needless Words. Um, and he crossed out the word needless, so it omit words. And that's one of the things to make things easier, to reduce the options. So in this presentation it's mostly about reducing options for your customers. One of my favorite movies is called Office Space. And in this presentation, I will use a website of Initech, which is uh, the, the fictional uh, company in Office Space. And let's assume that they have a marketing department. And their marketing department, they phoned me, uh, Peter, um, could you please uh, maximize our administrator experience in order to optimize our marketing efforts with minimum maintenance efforts? Or meaning, would you make the maintenance easier? Yeah, sure I can. And I will show you uh, four different ways. Something to do with users, something to do with menus, with dashboard and with content. So let's start with the users. Um, what you could do first is to limit the choices for the users by creating user groups, creating uh, access levels for viewing, and uh, then uh, set some permissions to uh, those people to log in into the back end and to only manage the articles from the category news. And also manage redirects because the marketing department, they know what to do with faulty links uh, to which content it should go. Actually, Joomla 4 also have workflow, which is really nice. And uh, you can use that as well, but it's not in this presentation yet. So, um, First, what I'm going to do is I create a user group in Joomla. User groups are sort of categories for your users. And in this case, I go to in the menu to users, groups, new, and I will create a new category called marketing group. I will assign this marketing group to the parent level of uh, the, the user groups. Some people start with registered or maybe administrator and they just disable everything that they don't need. I'm a Linux guy. I start with minimal stuff and only add what I need. It's the same with websites. I only add what I need and I disable what I don't need. But to start with public, it makes you more flexible. So you can arrange everything with it. So I start with public. Oh, I start with public. And then I have uh, a group called marketing group. It's at the bottom. And the next thing I have to do I will create uh, a viewing access level. So um, viewing access levels determine what someone can see on a page and uh, this is dependent on the user group they are in. So I will create something called marketing level. I have the marketing group for the user group and marketing level for the level. So. Uh, I say a uh, few, uh, the, I assign it to only the marketing group. So the marketing group has now viewing level, um, uh, marketing viewing level. Now I'm going to do something with permissions in Joomla. And the permissions, or the access control list, as it's uh, called technically, they determine what someone can do in a specific component. So the viewing access is what they can see, and the ACL, the permissions, is what they can do. So in the backend, I would like to give the marketing department a couple of things to do. They should be able to log into the backend to manage the content, 
to manage categories and also to manage redirects. So I start using the following route. I go to system, global configuration, permissions, it's the last tab, then marketing group, and then for the marketing group, I set the allow, um, the login admin to allow. That's the only thing I define here. So now the marketing group is able to log into the backend of Joomla. But they sh should need to do something like manage content. So uh, I go in content, articles, options, or I can also go in system global configuration and then uh, somewhere I, cl I click com articles or co com content. And for the articles, I set the permissions that they are have access to the administrator interface. So only the administrator interface. I don't set anything else because everything else I will do on category basis. So uh, they now have uh, access to login and also have access to the um, uh, administrator interface of com content. Now I go to uh, categories. Let's assume I have a category called news. What I do, I go to content categories, I select news, and I select the permissions in news. And I select the permissions for the marketing group, and I allow them everything. They can do all the actions they, they need, only on the category news. So the next thing, that I also want to give them access to the redirects. So in Joomla, system redirect, permissions for that component, uh, again, marketing group, and I allow all the actions except for the configuration stuff. I mean, they don't need that. They only need to add uh, or change links. So, in order to test this, I will create a new user. His name is Mark. Mark Ting. And Mark Ting works on the marketing department. I go to users manage new, and just, you have done this before, I believe. So, I don't show this, but... With a second browser, uh, I uh, try to log in into the backend with marketing as a uh, user, and you don't see anything, only toggle menu and Joomla. Actually, it's really, really, really nice and quiet. It's a sort of zen. But uh, yeah, I need the, uh, the backend title and toolbar because I want to see here what, where I'm at and also options that I can do. So again, in my other browser as super admin, I uh, will duplicate two modules, two administrator modules. It's a title and a toolbar module. So I go to system, administrator modules, and I duplicate those, those two. And the only thing that I change is uh, the access level, which I change to marketing level. If I've done that, then uh, uh, Mark can log in, and now he has also the title and the toolbar if he can use something. But I still don't have anything here. I will come to that later. But first, I created the user group marketing group. I created a viewing level called marketing level. And I created permissions for this marketing group. Uh, like they can log in into the backend, and they can manage articles, but only from the category news. And they can also manage redirects. I use I do it most manually because then I, I know everything. But if you have a really big website and you want to have a more graphical overview, there's a commercial extension called ACL Manager from Senda Potcher from PWT that you can use for that. Oh. So the second part is menus. What you could do to make it easier for your customers is to limit menu choices. So we will create an admin men menu for the marketing. It's called marketing menu in my case. And with this administrator module, I will assign it to the marketing level. So, and I will create two menu items, one to create articles and one to do redirect of the faulty links. So um, first of all, I go to uh, menus, manage. I choose administrator and then new. I call this menu marketing menu, my unique name is marketing menu, and now you have to make a decision. You could do nothing with import a preset, but you can also select the preset, meaning it will copy menu items of another component that you're going to use here. So you can copy the whole of the administrator stuff that's already for the super user and then disable what you don't need, or you can uh, load the preset for content. 
And because I uh, want to give them access to content, I start with the preset content dashboard. Uh, yeah. The next thing is you have to create an administrator module um, so uh, they can see this menu. So in system, admin modules, you go to duplicate and I duplicate the admin menu. And the only thing I change, I set it to uh, mark, oh yeah, two things. I uh, want to show the marketing menu with this menu, uh, with this module, and also access to marketing level. So only the marketing people will see it and me, a super user, won't see it. Because you can also set menus to special or um, modules to special and then everybody who has special rights can see it. But I don't want to have another mo menu for this. I already have it as super user. So um, what I do now is I create a sort of placeholder for the dashboard. I will talk about the dashboard after this, but first I create a placeholder. So in menus, in my marketing menu that I just created, I uh, try to edit com underscore content underscore menus. You can see this is all uppercases with uh, underscores, meaning it's a language label. So you can, uh, if you have a multilingual website, you can leave it like this and use uh, language overrides to change this label. In my case, it's really easy. I just change it for the word marketing menu. And uh, the other thing I have to do, uh, I set the uh, dashboard and I, I call it marketing dashboard. If you save it like this with a space in between, you will see that Joomla will just remove the space. So if you want to use it later on, you have to use it without the space. So marketing dashboard. Um, so I started with content. Now I have to do something with the redirects. So um, I go to menus, administrator, and I go to the marketing menu again. I create a new menu of menu type redirects. What I do, I also add a class, a icon map sign redirect. Because this class is used for the logo, for the, for, the, for the icon in front of it. So now, if I go with marketing into the backend, with his account, I have a content, a content uh, menu, just like Joomla, where you can click on it and you see uh, uh, articles. And I have to redirect with the nice icon in front of it. These four things, I'm a Linux user, I'm really glad that it's not Windows, <laughs> but this is a dashboard and uh, that's what I'm uh, going to show next. So what I created, I created an admin menu, marketing menu is called. I gave it access to uh, the marketing level and I also uh, uh, configured it to display the marketing menu. I uh, created two menu items, uh, one uh, to display news and the other one to do the redirects. So. The dashboard is the third thing that you could create in Joomla 4. Um, let's create one. So uh, we will create a couple of administrator modules for the marketing level. I will create two, one, two of those. I just uh, do something with the latest news and I do something with uh, the custom module because it's really nice and I, uh, I encourage you to use that. So. First, I go to content, admin modules, and I duplicate the recently added articles. And when I duplicate it, I set the category to news because the uh, marketing uh, co uh, um, uh, department only need to see the news articles. I uh, select position C panel marketing dashboard without a space. I just type it here and then uh, this module will be assigned to that dashboard. And also I uh, set the, the access to the marketing level so only they will see it. The next thing I do, I create um, a small module, a custom module with content, admin module, new and a custom. I also assign it to the uh, cPanel marketing dashboard. I also give it marketing level. And what do I do in a, in a custom here in, a, in a HTML? I put my logo in it. I put my phone number in it. I put my email address in it. So um, if the marketing department still has issues with Joomla, uh, they can easily uh, contact me here. They just have everything here. So this is, this is something uh, I also recommend to do for your customers. 
because it makes it uh, yeah look more professional the back the back end of your website. So the result is we have an administrator module for the marketing level uh, for the largest articles and custom, and they are both on the on positioned on the dashboard. There is a really nice article uh, in the Joomla community magazine. It's called Joomla Forum for Clients. It's uh, written by Crystal uh, Dionis so uh, Pulu. It uh, yeah, it gives a lot of information about the mar uh, about the dashboard, how to use it. Finally, uh, the fourth part is the content. And um, in the content, I would like to do some things to simplify the content management. Again, by reducing the choices. And I do a couple of things that you can do with the core Joomla. Like you can hide options, you can do template overrides. Um, I would like to show how you could create a small plugin uh, to override fields and a small commercial extension called uh, D2 Profiles. Um, let's just start by reducing it. So easier content, only show the user what they need to see and hide what you don't need. Some people use uh, CSS in the back end to hide stuff. It works, but you can still edit it if you like, if you look into the HTML. So if you go to Joomla, like content, articles, and you choose new, you will have um, content, uh, images and links, options, publishing, configure, edit scores, and permissions. This is what everybody sees. I mean, uh, the, the super user. Um, if you, and a lot of those also are visible for the marketing level. So what I start to do, I go to options. Uh, in content articles options, you choose uh, the, it's custom. Oh yeah, uh, you, you um, well you have, if you the editing layout, this, I don't know what's custom. Oh yeah, th these are just, uh, I want to just do this, uh, hide those. So the publishing, what you see here, it's like a meta description, etc. You can hide it. Article options, like what should, uh, what options should the article have if it's displayed individually, you can hide it. Uh, also the permissions, you can just disable all everything except for the enable versions. I would keep that uh, because it's easy if you make mistakes. And then you only have one field called content. Everything else is gone. This is just core Joomla, an option. Another thing what you could do is uh, use a template override. So uh, the backend template of Joomla is called Autumn and it's in the administrator templates Autumn. What you could do, in you could create in the HTML folder something uh, for the com content component, for the article view, and it's the edit PHP file. And what you could do, you could copy it. And um, what you could there do there is there is a line called echo JLayout helper, render Joomla edit global, and you can remove it and only put uh, like uh, this form get label state, this form get input state, and do the same with the category ID. Then you don't have all the options on the right side, only uh, the state and the category ID. So state and category ID. And also I also did the language because it's uh, more or less required to add the language. Even if you ha don't have language, it should be all then. So um, yeah, this is, this is a nice way to, uh, to make it a bit easier. There are disadvantages with template overrides. I mean, if Joomla um, adds some new features to the their own template, uh, yeah, you have to. Um, I mean, to the to the um, to the output, you have to uh, do it yourself in Joomla as well, and it will be the same for everybody in every category in the whole system. And uh, anyway, Mark de Chevre, who did a nice presentation today about the Cassiopeia template about. This um, change in the smart uh, search layout. He also has a really nice article in uh, Joomla Community Magazine about uh, the Cassiopeia, and he gives a lot of tips how to change stuff in it. But Cassiopeia is the front end, but the same uh, tricks you can apply to the back end template. So um, you could also do your own plugin. So uh, Joomla has a lot of uh, events. 
and that means that uh, in the code of Joomla, it says, okay, uh, all the uh, system plugins that uh, listen to own content prepare form or all the content plugins, um, here you can uh, uh, put your own code. So uh, Joomla has own content prepare form. So before a form is rendered to the, to the screen, all the fields, you can change those. Um, it's more persistent than a template override but uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to do. And um, uh, I created um, a, a, a sample plugin. It's called uh, PL of a pl uh, on GitHub. Uh, you can follow the link later. I can show you. Is, is it the last plugin? Yeah. Um, So uh, this is the plugin. It's uh, just a couple of files. I, th uh, I think I have only two files. Oh, and the language files, of course. So uh, the real thing happens here. I'm not really sure if it's really visible. So it listens to the uh, on content plugin. Uh, where is it? Uh, bef uh, on content prepare before prepare form. Uh, sorry, uh, on content prepare form, there it listens. And this code that I put here, I can just add some stuff like I can disable the featured or I can make uh, fields required. Let's assume you have the node field and you want to have it required. Then you can just uh, say something like uh, form set field attribute for the name node and you can say required true. And then the node field will be required for everybody. Otherwise, you cannot save the article. You can do it with the plugin. Really nice. And the last thing is what I want to show uh, for making uh, Joomla easier for customers is an extension called D2 Profiles. Um, it's uh, an extension that uh, Sigrid Gramlinger and I uh, created for Joomla 3. And then it was called D2 Content. But there were some issues with it because it didn't work uh, with a couple of extensions like uh, Uteam Pro. Um, and then we decided to uh, change the concept. And now it's called D2 Profiles. It works with a, a plugin and it works also with Uteam. So um, you can create profiles with it. And you can base the profile on the components, the client, and the view. At the moment, only come content uh, in the back end and the edit article are uh, supported, but in the future we'll come with other uh, views and components as well. Um, it's also based on user group, category, and or language. So you can create um, a special profile for the marketing department, because you will assign it to the marketing group, and only for the news, if maybe they have something else. Um, so what you do in, pro in this component, uh, you can create the editor layout, you can define the tabs, the field sets, and use the fields, even custom fields are supported. And uh, this is how you assign it. So you, uh, you define uh, which component, etc., and which uh, tabs and fields do I need. And here it's like all the fields that I need in my profile. And you can even make fields required. So if you want to have an image and it should be required, you can set it to yes. Um, it's a lot to configure. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what we also did, we have... Oh yeah, I don't show it here. We also uh, have an export and an import. So if you have uh, a profile, you can export it and import it in other websites. <coughs> and this is uh, something uh, I made. So here is the article. I only have one... Uh, how do you say? One uh, tab. This is the article text. Here I have uh, the image. And here I have some things like created date, start publishing, finish publishing. So this could be something for the marketing department to, to create news articles. Yeah, it's a, it's a package with a component to, to, to manage, manage everything, a system plugin that uh, does the work, and uh, profile plugins that uh, do the stuff for special profiles, like content for articles. And so what I did, I created uh, a template override 
I showed uh, a content plugin that you could write yourself with the code that I will have published on the internet. And uh, I showed you an extension D2 profiles. So um, I would like to do it live now, everything that I just said. If there are any questions already, then please ask. So, I have this really nice website. Um, Dimac. Really nice. And uh, this website of Initech has a team page. There's a team page. Now I don't I don't know why I get this uh, stuff all the time. Anyway, this is a team page, and this is the back end of the website. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I will create a user group. So on under users, I go to groups. Uh, I create a new group, which is called uh, marketing group. I assign it to the public uh, group. So here you see public, and here you see marketing group. Next thing I do is I create a viewing access level, which is called um, marketing level. And in real life, I won't call it group and level, but it's just to make clear what I'm doing. And I assign it to uh, the marketing group. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I think it was to create a user. Uh, yeah. Well, I will create a new user. And uh, I also assign a mark uh, to the marketing group. I remove registered for the moment. Not now. Oh, I already use. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I have a password manager, and it always uh, suggests the name that's already there. But I have first, like if I do like this. Mark, and I change the password. Oh, this is demo lab so website here locally, so it's not a problem that you can see it now. And if I go to assign user, it's marketing group. Now I have to go back. Is it still Mark? Yeah, it's still Mark. So um, let's save it. So Mark is uh, part of the marketing group, and <coughs> what I go do now, I go to the backend of the website, Oh, yeah, 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 I know, no, it was wrong. But it's nice if you change stuff on the website. I use Docker, and it should be any tag. No, let's do it differently, local. Uh, any tag. So I just go in another, via another route. Yeah, so my name is Mark, as for the marketing department, and uh, 
with a really unsafe password, I can log not in because I did not do anything of uh, everything that I needed. I have to uh, give access to the administrator interface. I told you uh, that in the presentation. I just didn't do it so uh, you would see how it works. So you can do it in a couple of ways. And I go to administrator, uh, global configuration, I think, and then permissions. So for the global config system global configuration, I go to the marketing group and I give them administrator login allow. So I go back. And now I'm logged in and I cannot see anything. Because in the back end I have to go to uh, content, administrator modules, and I have two. Um, the title, which I will duplicate. I have to uh, make it published and I also make it access for the marketing level, save. So if I go back, now it has the title and I have to do the same with the toolbar, otherwise I won't miss all the options like new, etc. And I can do it, oh, I can do it in two ways. In this way I do save as copy, publish, uh, marketing level. So this was the first thing, So, uh, but now you, you won't see that because uh, there is nothing to do here. So uh, he now has a he's able to log in and uh, I want would like to give him, um, uh, let me check, manage content. So <coughs> I go back, I go to um, articles, options permissions. I go to the marketing group and I say uh, they are allowed to access the administrator interface. That's the only thing they can do. All the other stuff is done in the category itself. So then I go to content, categories. I have this news category. There I have permissions again. Uh, I have the marketing group here and let's allow them to do everything here but only within this category. So if I go back, uh, you still don't see anything because I have to do something with the menu. Uh, if you don't use the uh, group that I created, uh, and you use special, you always you see the, the menu already, but I would like to do everything now myself. Um, then I go to uh, menus. I manage a menu. I will create a new menu. And this is not right. Uh, manage. Oh yeah, sorry. First administrator, then new. And it's the marketing menu. And I will import the uh, content dashboard preset. Uh, yeah. So if I go back here, still not there. Because I have to go to the uh, system. Uh, where is it? Administrator modules, and now I want to have the admin menu. Oh. And I just duplicate it. Ah. I want to do it too fast. Save as copy. I would like to have it uh, published and for the um, marketing level and also not the Joomla menu, uh, I mean uh, I need the marketing menu like this. So I go back to uh, my other browser, oh, back to my other browser and now I have content and content settings. The content settings is new now but um, yeah I can you can see I can see that the stuff in the news but I cannot change the stuff from the team because uh, I don't have permission for that. Um, okay, and after I have to do the same with uh, the. Um, so I also want to give him access to re redirect. So I go back, I go to the components. Uh, sorry, no, to the um, menus, 
guy into the marketing menu and I will create a new called um, Rust again, a redirect. And the menu type is redirect. And uh, you could give it a nice uh, icon class. Uh, do I have it? Yeah, yes, I have it here. So if I save and close it, I go back. I will have, no, I don't have it yet. I forgot one thing. Because in the um, redirect component, uh, system redirects, you also have to do uh, options. Uh, permissions and I have to assign the marketing group to allow the administrator interface and also to create, delete, edit and state. I go back to the to mark. You can see now I have redirect. So this is how you, uh, yeah, how you can uh, do all this kind of stuff. Um, then other thing is uh, I had something with a template. But if I look at the time, then, oh yeah, the, um, the modules. So if I go to, um, where is it? If I go to content, uh, administrator modules, I will create a new module called custom. And I will call it support. The position will be uh, C panel, but not C panel, um, no. C, no. Oh. I hope that I uh, wrote it uh, correct. I think I there should be an this in between. And it should be available for the marketing level. And I have uh, oh, locally on my desktop, I have the um, support module here. So I just add some. Oh, where is it? don't like this editor. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, I will just push post it here. It's really horrible now. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Here, toggle editor. I hope that I can save it. No, it doesn't uh, have images. Anyway, uh, just just um, it stripped the HTML. So if I go to uh, content, I mean to the um, homepage. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, uh, add the um, the dashboard here in content. I forgot it in my. So I go to menus, marketing menu. I go to uh, the content menus, and here the link type. This is what I forgot. It should be marketing dashboard. And now if I go back, I have this item here. I click it. I made a mistake in in typing probably. Because otherwise, I would have my uh, module here. Ah, system. Oh, thank you. Support. Yes, that's correct. Marketing uh, depart. What, what was it? Marketing level. D marketing dashboard. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's not really nice doing it here because my mouse slips <laughs> down all the time. So. Enter. Yeah. 
So if I go back, so now you have something. Uh, it strips uh, this editor strips all the HTML, so uh, it doesn't look nice. But my logo should be there. Um, because of the time, I would like to show uh, one other thing, and that's the D2 profiles. Um, this is the extension. And what you can see is that uh, we have profiles, we have system plugin and a content plugin, but the system plugin has not been uh, enabled. I will do it in a minute, but first I will uh, open content articles in a new tab. So this is how the article menu looks like. And uh, what we did is we, in the system plugins, you can, when it's enabled, um, you're using uh, a con uh, profile plugin for articles. And in articles, I can configure if it should uh, display images, show, or do a placeholder. So uh, it now shows the images, the intro images. So you can easily see if there is an image missing. Uh, but if you have a lot of images and they are really huge, it will take a lot of time to, to display the whole page. So we also have the option for placeholder. And then it will just show the sizes of all the images. So you can see I have different sizes here. And uh, maybe I should do something about that also. So um, yeah, this is the, the first thing. The second thing is uh, we, yeah, uh, we have... Um, You have the profiles itself. So if I go to uh, the component, need to profiles. Uh, we have one profile at the moment, G Agentur, and uh, it's uh, set to administrator user groups to news. And I have uh, just one tab called uh, news, G Agentur news, with uh, a couple of field sets: description, status, and some somewhere else. And here I have all the fields that are uh, as currently assigned. So if I now open an editor, I mean uh, the article edit, you can see uh, what I just uh, showed or told you about. But if you don't want to have the, uh, the, um, the image there where you saw it, you can also move it to somewhere else. Uh, this is the status, so I will move it just to the description. Save. And now it will be in the middle. So this is how you could uh, build content. And everything you save here will be stored just like Joomla articles. So everything is in a, in a, in a database. Um, and uh, close. You can also export the stuff. So if I go to um, component, D2 profiles, I can just I will export everything, uh, oh. and it will be saved like this. And you can, uh, yeah, import this in a new site. Or what I also can do is I can just import it here. Then I have it uh, double. So now I have an imported version and an other version. What you can see is that uh, the user groups and the categories are not assigned here. Because if you import it in a new website, you don't know which user groups or categories they have. So you have to do it manually then. But the fields and the field sets, etc., is all the same. Um, so yeah, this is uh, basically what I wanted to show you. Um, are there any questions? What do you do with uh, for your customers for optimizing the back end? Are you already using uh, the, um, the, the roles, the ACL roles and the viewing levels? or Okay. Or do, do you give them front end layout, edit only? Some people do that. So also for some clients may be nice. Okay. Well, thank you then for the, your attention.